any time now. Okay, we're live on YouTube. I think. Live on Facebook. Yeah, we're good to go. Good. All right. Go my three, two, one. What the fuck is Sam doing? Hi. Okay, we're live on Facebook yet? Yeah, we're live. Okay, let me pull up the stream and then we'll get started. There we go. Yeah, one viewer, three. One, okay. three, nice. Let me kill this audio. Okay, looks like we're good to go. Um, okay. What is this? The third or fourth one of these that we're doing? Fourth. One. Fourth. fourth. God, four already. It's great. Um. Well, cool. Thanks for joining us at another A and R Friday. We're gonna be live here on Facebook. Um, for better audio, we have it on YouTube as well. Um which uh, I'll post the link right now just so you guys can click it. We'll be taking submissions on the YouTube and the Facebook, kind of back and forth. But uh, just to kick stuff off, let's go ahead and start with uh, Facebook links. Let's see, and once again, if you guys could post links to your actual music, that'd be preferred because we're not going to spend time, waste people's time digging through your Facebooks or other links to try to find some kind of audio. So, um, Okay, so post away. Let's get started. God, these are going so fast already. How do I pull up a bigger one? Okay. This is called Sweet Ascent, and the song is called Alive. Good evening. This already looks hilarious, by the way. Start right here. Sweet descent alive. So that was Sweet Ascent, and the song was called Alive. I thought that was creative, though, yeah, the cool. video. If you guys got to see it, it was kind of like a TV commercial. I actually thought it was going to be a joke, like, and I hit the wrong link or something, and it was, like, actually a TV news ad. But, um, no, it's a great music video. I thought it was cool. Um, catchy? Super catchy. Super catchy. Yeah, no, it was solid, for sure. Looking at their Facebook right now. You know, the one, it doesn't say on the video, um, big difference, man. Well, there's a, there's a picture of him playing Chain Reactions. So oh, okay, okay. You know, the funny thing is, when I was watching that video, the, the guy runs across the street, and I don't think he looks both ways. I was like, oh, shit, he's going to get hit by a car right now. Huh. No, but this, it was good. I thought it was catchy. I thought the choruses were real strong. You know, it's, uh, would you guys consider that pop punk? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Okay. okay. Traditional, definitely more traditional pop punk, even like a hint of a straight pop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
They had a slice of uh, cheese pizza in there. You missed it, but eh. I mean, there was. I'm saying that's you have to do that. Yeah. Um, no, I thought it was great. Definitely, uh, definitely catchy. Let's see. Let's go to the next one. Okay, this song is called Brother Wolf. The song is called On Tall Towers. Brother Wolf. Okay, that was Brother Wolf. The song was called On Tall Towers. I thought that was really well written. You know, it was very like technical. Yeah. I saw kind of some uh, proggy, like different stuff in there. I almost felt like, I don't know. What, what do you guys think similar bands would be to that? It's a hard question. <laughs> I'm looking at you. I'm, I think you, you know. <laughs> See, it's. parts in the song where I thought that the beat and like the whole entire rhythm mm -hmm. was going to go a different way, and then it would just kind of throw me off with it. Kind of remind me like a little bit of like Iron Mighty kind of. Okay. I could see that. It was kind of it was kind of weird. It was like in the middle of it, it was more like era esque, like kind of proggy gent style. But then in the start, it was more like modern day kind of. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of reminded me of the word alive a little bit, something like that. Kind of old school sound to it too. Maybe um, there was a lot of different. Yeah. 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 It's like really well produced though. It's like I, I remember there's a, the, a spot in there where it just kind of stopped and there was vocals and shit. Like I know anytime I see somebody try to pull that off live too, it never fucking works as smooth as, as it does in the recording where it's just like stops and then screams for a little while and then they have to jump back in. But that was cool. It sounded great. Brother Wolf. Okay, let's do another one here. Let's go and hop over to the YouTube. Once again, if you guys want to kind of get better you know audio quality and see better video stuff just go to the YouTube I'll post that link once again in Facebook okay YouTube link Jesus no anytime I try to copy something it's like it always changes it's not hyperlinked yeah youtube.com slash whatever this is Okay, 
This is called Felicity, and the song is called Hang On. Okay, that was Felicity. A uh, song was called Hang On. I think we fell off Facebook for a second, right? Back. Yeah, it's, it's giving me low uh, connection. Okay. Fortunately, Facebook only lets you stream live through cell phones. So sometimes there's problems. If you go to our YouTube, you won't have those fucking problems. So maybe go to that. Um, so Felicity, Hang On. I thought it was real catchy. I, f I feel like that's something that you would push to radio, oh, you know? For sure. I feel like something like that, like, I don't know, a lot of you viewers and stuff like that, you know, some of you are very familiar with the, the music industry, others are kind of new to it, but there's a thing called uh, sync licensing, right? Where basically TV shows uh, kind of license your music out to put in like, you know, TV shows or movies, stuff like that. I feel like something like this would be perfect for like those MTV uh, things, you know what I'm talking about? Like all those like reality TV shows, they pick up literally yeah true life they love stuff like this because it's so relatable to the pop world and kind of the cool edgier type world and stuff like that yeah it reminded me of just like late 90s early 2000s yeah yeah what you would call pop punk like yellow card and nest and all those mm -hmm. bands like for sure that reminded me of like a more modern kind of mm. that pop punk so it's like more like yeah old school sound mm. I like how it says hang on and the, the visual is just like somebody's feet in like clouds and like you're falling out of an airplane. It's like, hang on, cool, don't die. Yeah, nice, okay. Well, let's go ahead and go to another one. Um, Let's see, Wild Ways, hmm, I know these guys. <laughs> Can't play you, your signs. Tartary, okay, let's try this one. We're gonna do another from YouTube. Um, and maybe we'll switch back to Facebook here, youtube.com. Oh, shit. Did you see that? Straight up got booted off a fucking Facebook. No, uh, YouTube. stupid Firefox. I don't know why I use Firefox. Okay, let's try this again. Gotta use Internet Explorer. Okay, so this song is called, or this band's called For King and Country, and uh, the song's called Sweet. 
I think. S W A Y T. Sounds like it, right? Swat. Swat. Sounds like Swedish word. But like an IKEA furniture item. Sweet. for King and Country, and the song was called Swate, or Swate, Swate, what was the other? I think that's how you spell it, Swate. I feel like, I feel like this song, it's a little rough around the edges. It definitely has potential if they kind of uh, tweak a few things. I feel like first thing I'd, I'd suggest you guys do is you definitely want to do some cooler visuals with your music videos, stuff like that. Um, you know, this wasn't bad, it's just any, anytime you can kind of get some extra uh, visual elements to kind of sync up with your audio, the better. Um, with this, I also felt, I don't know about you guys, it could be my sub, but I felt like the bass was way over the top on that. It seemed really, really loud, no? I didn't pick that. The basses can play, I'm just saying, yeah. like, he plays great, it just seemed like that was very front and center on it. Mm. Um, all in all, I can see what they're going for, and I think that this could be a really killer single too. They just need to maybe polish it off a little bit. It's not completely there. Crash again? You gotta get uh. And I just cut it. They do? Well then I'm wrong and they're doing something great, dude. I'm saying like, I don't need to, like, I'm not 150% right all the time. That's fucking great. Um, okay, so, yeah, their upcoming full length. Uh, it doesn't say if it's available yet, but go check them out for King and Country. Sweet. Okay, let's go back to Facebook. Let's find another track here. I'm still trying to reconnect. Cashville. Let's see, okay, we're still good on. Are we still live on Facebook? I don't know. It says we're live right now, but the connection's weak. Okay. So we're live on stuff still. Cool. Okay, well, next song, let's get back to it. It's called a band called Black Matter Device. The song is called Opposite Ends. We're joined here by Andrew. Did you bring me coffee now? Okay, Black Matter Device. Opposite Endings. <laughs>
Black Matter device. The song was called Opposite Ends. Um, you know, here's what I was thinking. Like when it started off, I thought it was very gritty and raw. You know, and I was like, if they're trying to be like a pop band or something like that, it's not gonna work out. <laughs> you know, and um, they they started and it was like, it was like converge almost. Like it was almost like it was meant to be raw, kind of gritty converge styled stuff. I don't know. Did you get Definitely, that vibe? Yeah, it felt you know almost dated. So okay. Yes, kind of that point, but it just it wasn't as punchy. Intense music like that, it's like best sold performed live. So it's like mm -hmm. with hardcore shit that's all over the place, like very intense stuff. It's like. I gotta see that live. Okay. Would you consider this hardcore? It's funny that you yeah. said Converge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because on their, um, on their Facebook there, Converge is their uh, influence. See? I called it. Yeah. So they, have, uh, they have like Dillinger, Devin Townsend, Daughters, yeah. Converge, and Periphery as their influences. Which I love right. all that stuff. Yeah. Um, I thought it was cool. Like, if, if you're gonna, here's the thing. Like, if you're gonna go with like the raw kind of gritty thing, you need to embrace it. You know, and like I see black metal bands do that, where it's like gritty kind of, uh, you know, raw types of stuff, and, and fans expect that kind of thing. If you're going to go converge route stuff like that, you can also be gritty, but you need to be, you know, high energy, uh, like a probably faster tempo. You know what I'm talking about? That was always a converge yeah. thing. Like, what was it? Uh, was it? Fuck, I was mixed. It. John Doe, Jane Doe, Jane Doe. Yeah. Jane Doe. Uh, that was like high energy and stuff like that. I could yeah. see it being good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, but like Devin Townsend, well produced, you know. So it's like right. two different worlds. You can't be both of those. You got to kind of pick one or the other. Depends what you're going for, yeah. Exactly. Okay, let's go ahead and pick another Facebook one. Then we'll jump over to YouTube again. This band is called Starlight Road. The song's called Selflessness Over Selflessness. Okay, that was Starlight Road. Song was called Selflessness Over Selflessness. Um, or wait, Selfishness. Sorry, I'm blind. <laughs> um, it's uh, off the debut EP, Take Me Nowhere, I Somewhere. Um, I thought the dude can sing like yeah, crazy. It sounds good. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that was probably, out of everything, that was very strong, you know? Yeah, production's great, dude. Yeah. For sure. Sounds good. We listened to it? Yeah. It was a minute 46. <laughs> it was a minute 46, dude. Get out. And what was the name of that song one more time? Um, the name of the song was... Over no, it's Selflessness Over Selfishness. <laughs> it's like a tongue twister, man. Um, the one the one thing that I'm, I'm thinking too, though, is like looking at the visuals on this, you know, uh, they've got the Starlight Road thing. There's like a bunch of space stuff, like a moon and... Uh, like meteors and stuff. I don't think that you guys should be going that route. That's kind of more like the genty like prog route, you know, when it comes to visuals. Like you wouldn't think kind of the popular chorus bands would have tons of that kind of visual, you know, space, right? You just don't get it, Chan. I don't get it. Don't get it. I'm saying when You're I see a, 
I'm saying if I saw a cover yeah, like that, yeah. I'd be like, hey, that's a prog chant. No, that's the first thing you think of when you see stuff like that. Yeah. So I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying, man. I think the new speakers too, man. What? Oh, they're just not facing me. They're not facing you, dude. <laughs> okay. It's not so flat to me. Oh, it's all good. Well, I'm only 15 minutes on anyways. Okay. This band is called, uh, I believe it's called Going Nowhere. The song's called Broken Pieces. It's your kind of stuff, Andrew. Come back, man. Um, Going Nowhere. Uh, yeah, bro the song's called Broken Pieces by Going Nowhere. That was Broken Pieces by Going Nowhere. I was kind of confused by how, how it's labeled. It says like Broken Pieces. Usually it says the band dash song title. So I was kind of confused. But um, this is definitely not my my style of music I deal with. I'll delegate to you guys. You tell me. I think it sounded great, but you know. What do you think? Where's Alex? He's a, he's a big pop dude, right? Well, dude, yeah. yeah. What are your thoughts, Sam? Um, I thought it was good. I wasn't. I felt like the screaming and his singing, I, I don't know, I, I didn't feel like it meshed super well. Mm. Um, it could have just been the song, but I like that cover. That's pretty cool. Yeah, cool. Um, I like the intro. Um, I thought it sounded good. Cool. Yeah, cover really brought like a lot. Anytime I hear that like little solo thing on top of stuff, the little ding, 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 ding you know what I'm talking about? That like interesting, like, let me find it. fucking lost it already whatever I quit but uh it reminds me of dance game and dance whenever there's something like that it's like the weird kind of high pitch thing it's interesting okay let's go ahead and move on shit just clicked one and then it vanished there's a cool dude with like a mask on okay band's called Vita Nova song's called Asphyxia
was Vita Nova, a song called Asphyxia. Um, you can tell, like, when you listen to this, you can tell they, they thought out a lot of stuff really well. You know, from the fills to, like, the different little segments and stuff. My one beef with it, though, is, like, the vocals seem so low in the mix, you know? It's almost hard to hear the, the vocals. The production of the music itself without the vocals is definitely overpowered. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on. And the guy's vocals are solid. Like, yeah. those screams are brutal. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of shotgun mm-hmm. snares and, you know, yeah, voices yeah, yeah. and background symphonies and... A lot happening. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Which is cool. I love that stuff, to be honest with you. But I just felt like you're right. Mm. Yeah. I feel like too. There's certain parts like when you see a band that's so, like, there's so much technical stuff going on. It's very like busy. You know, in a song, if you're gonna do choruses or like have like a hook, you know, with clean vocals and stuff, all of that needs to stop and accommodate the vocals. You know, so it's like be technical, but then the chorus comes up and do something more simplistic so that the you know clean vocals can kind of take center. Oh, you know, absolutely. it's difficult to have both um, and you know, have the attention that it needs. But yeah, definitely higher vocals. Other than that, I thought it was great. It was kind of a mix of like electronic, you know, in some parts. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll do it. You're 100% right though about the whole mm-hmm. chorus thing. Yeah. Because I've had people tell me like, you know, the chorus is like dumb down the drums a little bit, just make it super simple. And a lot of bands that start out really technical and want to get more toward the radio or more yeah. towards, you know, catching, you know, a wider audience, the drums mm-hmm. sometimes. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And any band like that, when you see them, you know, in the studio or they're they're doing a technical technical side of it, producing or pre pro or something, it's always the technical stuff for the verses or for the everything building up to the the singing part, and then they just dumb it down to some chords. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? And it's always more simple so that the vocalist can do his thing. But um, yeah, definitely dug that one. I already closed it, dude. Um, okay, let's go ahead and jump over to YouTube, pick some, youtube.com. From Wildfire, a song called Dutchman. That was from Wildfire, a song called Dutchman. Now, th- this is one of those bands that I, tr- I try to figure out what genre, like what style they are, and I don't know. Like, at first, I thought it was like kind of the tough guy, hardcore, you know, slower da- slow down, beat down type stuff. And then it sounded more active rock, you know, uh, with the singing type stuff. And then the art is very prog rock. Like, it's definitely all over the place, which doesn't isn't necessarily a bad thing. You know, it's easier for you as a band to figure out what your kind of style or similar bands are or genre so you can target that, you know, try to go on tour with those bands, you know, uh, hit up those types of fans that like that kind of stuff. But with this, you know, 
you can either cultivate something new, like a new fan base that likes all of those different elements, or you can kind of pick which one you want to go with. You know, it was it was definitely many different genres, right? What would you guys compare that to? Yeah. I'm assuming that was a female. She her voice is super active rock though. Yeah. Yeah, the art's kind of like graffiti-esque too, like very bright visuals and stuff. It's cool art, but yeah, it's it's definitely like, you know, uh, hard to define. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. It just means that there's nothing like it right now. You know, maybe they're the, they're the first to do something like this. Um, okay, let's move to another YouTube one. Let's see. Oops. Oh my god, stop moving. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> well, I wish it was just a hyperlink. Okay. Got it. Okay, this band's called Yuri. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, Yuri. The song's called Wandering Flame. I already love it, dude. That was Yuri. The song was called Wandering Flame. Uh, it's off their upcoming self-titled EP. Um, I think I'm sure that EP is probably out already since this is from 2015. That's just a reminder you guys should definitely update your videos and stuff if something's out. Um, I thought this is good. I, it reminds me of this band I used to work with called Tesseract. It's like very prog, like kind of proggy with good, you know, good solid vocals. It's definitely prog metal or prog rock you know visuals were on point it's something you would expect from a style like that you know you uh, it's like y-u-r-e-i but the u is like with like a thing over the top okay, um but yeah i thought it was good i thought it was pretty strong the visuals were awesome visuals were cool um yeah good stuff all around can't complain at all okay let's go ahead and Pick this one. Oh my god. It's tricky. You watch me do that, like trying to highlight the thing as it moves. Uh, we need a moderator. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. This band is called Portals. The song is called Apex. Off the new release, The Empty. Artwork is sick. Portals? Yeah.
That was Portal. Song was called Apex. Um, cool, heavy. Yeah, artwork solid. It's real heavy. The one thing I, I couldn't help but like, kind of crave for this is like, there's so much room for maybe some like, extra production on top of this. You know what I'm talking about? Like, like I'm I'm saying like stuff like this that you hear. You hear a lot of like kind of ambient like just weird accompaniment stuff it's like oceano it's like um uh black tongue all, all that kind of stuff like when you when you want to play that low and stuff it, it opens up a lot of other like headroom for you to add some additional stuff in um i feel like with the art and the vibe and portals and stuff like that there could be a little bit of extra production on there like some symphonic stuff or weird uh like track bed stuff but other than that i thought it was it was great you know yeah it's cool stuff okay let's jump to another one this one's called chumbawamba tub thumping it's joking yeah we signed them on uh, april fool's day right This band is called Drill Lights. The song is called Play Dead. Um, singles available. Doesn't say anything about album. Go check it out. Drill Light song was called Play Dead. Uh, singles available now. Um, I thought it was high in energy. I like that kind of stuff, that tempo, you know? Just like right off the bat was kind of straightforward. I think that that's already always cool, especially when you see that live, you know? It's not like a long, slow build up and stuff. People are like, start and then they just play right off the bat, really energetic. Definitely feels like the band has a lot of energy live yeah. too, just by the music. Mm -hmm. I love that. It's funny, it's like the older the, a band gets, the slower their music gets and it's like less energetic. <laughs> Those guys are definitely like super energetic, um, like you know. Rose. Oh, like Deftones. That's a good example. That new album's pretty pretty soft. Okay, jump to Facebook for one. Let's see. Okay, this band's called Reach for Rescue. The song is called New Beginnings. It's a single. Um, nothing about a full album or anything, but check out the single. Here we go. Reach for Rescue. That's cool. 
Reach for Rescue, song was called New Beginnings. Sam, you're a drummer. Do you notice anything about the drums at the start? Uh, notice anything? Uh-huh. In what way? It's less programmed or real? Here, here's what I'm thinking. Like, when I heard it, it sounds like, you know how drummers use two kick drums with two different pedals? Yeah. Instead of like a double kick drum that's on just one tom, or one, one kick drum? Mm -hmm. I feel like they did that, and I could be totally wrong. Watch, listen to this, tell me. <laughs> like slightly off whenever you hear those you know what I'm talking about no it's like it's like when most most people that use double kick drums they have one kick drum and it, just two and beaters two on it yeah but sometimes people have two kick drums and when they play it like that it's like slightly off and stuff I mean these aren't uh, you know focused towards you but I'm like kind of sure that's the case I, I like it I it's cool oh it's drum sound sounds great. great I'm just saying I, I noticed that and I was like hmm maybe that's the case you could probably get a lot better on your side too. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was good. Uh, chorus, what do you guys think? I thought it was, I, I appreciate that um, rep clearing. It's very, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. a day remember. Yeah. He does that. <laughs> um, it's a boy. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. Nice. That was cool. A little break. I was like, what? Didn't expect it. Yeah. Um, cool. Good stuff. All in all, we were giants. Rise. We were Giants debut EP, Dead Societies, out now. Cool looking video. We Were Giants, song was called Rise. I met these dudes before, sold, sold band, good guys. What do you guys think? Production good. Yeah, that was really cool. Cool. Yeah, that was really good. Cool. Chorus was good, production was good, music video looked good. Yeah, solid package right there, no complaints. Um, let's go ahead and jump to YouTube. Let's pick this one. And once again, if you guys want to watch on YouTube, it's better sound quality. It doesn't cut out sometimes. Yeah. Knock on wood. Right now. Knock on wood. <laughs> Band's called Autumn's Fallen. The song is called Brighter Days. Uh, this is track one off their debut EP called Unity, which is available now. Let's check it out. <laughs> Sam, you're kind of stuck right here, huh? They even have Roman numerals and stuff, which is you know, on everything you ever, ever do.
Autumn's Fallen, song was called Brighter Days, track one off the debut EP Unity out now. Um, I'll turn this one over to Sam because he plays the style a lot. I mean, yeah. It's, it's great. It's got a lot of Parkway Drive written on it. Mm-hmm. Kill Switch Engage for sure. That little traditional kind of metal core with like the like that kind of stuff. Okay. It reminds me of like Bury Your Dead, stuff like that a little bit, you know, the the breakdowns of that style too. For sure. Yeah. Kinda laced with a little old school, but uh-huh. new as well. Absolutely. Am I wrong? When the clean vocals came in, it just kinda reminded me of like Parkway Drive a little bit, the mm-hmm. traditional kind of metal core. No. It's joking, yeah. Um yeah, I, I agree. I thought um I thought the vocals were really strong in this one as well. I didn't think that they were Okay. What what kind of bands do you think you would market something like this to? Like in what kind of genre? Or what style? Okay. I can see that. No, they're they're not like that. I think for, from Ashes is more like that act of rock. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna have like some rap and stuff in them too from what I believe. Let's check out another one. Zealot song's called Unloved. Their full EP on Wanted Unloved. Set to be released 826. Oh, it's out now. Cool. <laughs> we never update. <laughs> Zealot's song was called Unloved, uh, taken their, from their full EP, Unwanted, Unloved, which is out now. I thought it was cool. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that name around quite a bit, too, um, which is always good. You know, the more your band is kind of a brand gets around, like people see it as a household name, which is great. Um, I thought it was good. I got no complaints. I feel like it was definitely definitely kind of that new wave of stuff that's that's coming out, you know, for like metalcore is kind of changing from what it once was, screamo, like all types of that stuff has kind of turned into like this this almost di- different like uh, active rocky new metal yeah. but old school metal. Like it's so it's so hard to to define what it is now, but yeah. this is definitely new. It's it's a little bit uh innovative compared to, you know, the older genres stuff. Did you get any sworn in from it at all? I did. I totally yeah. did. Yeah. 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 Zealots. What'd you think, Julia? Zealot, right? Not zealots. Um, I lost it. Okay, I got it. I got it on point out. How do you spell it? Uh, Z E A L O G. What'd you think, Julia? It was like my top two, I think. Um, yeah, I agree. It has like a little bit of strains of like older stuff. Um. But yeah, it was good. The video was cool too. Nice. Cool. Let's go ahead and pick uh, another one. We got time for probably one more. So let's hold this together. <laughs> okay, no Dropbox links. Justin Haskin. Haskin for the Dropbox. <laughs> yeah. It's going to take me forever to download that. 
Damn, it's moving so fast. Okay, there. I got one. Oops. Oh, that works. Okay, band's called Life Barrier. Song's called Four Giver. And that's givers kind of in brackets. Um, let's see. I don't know if their album's out, but uh, let's check it out. Life Barrier song was called Four Giver in brackets. Um, I thought that was great. I really liked that one. Um, yeah. Vocals were on point. Um, sound sounded really cool. There was kind of what I was talking about earlier, you know, when there's the backing, there's kind of that atmospheric or something on top, even if it's guitar and, and whatnot, they had that kind of droning sound over top of stuff. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. I like that stuff. Um, no complaints. Any, any other? Notes on Life Barrier? No? Um, so that was the last one today. I want to thank everybody for coming out. It's, it's funny, we actually have signed two groups that we've discovered from one of our A&Rs on, on the past few months, um, which we're going to announce fairly soon, probably in May, which is cool. We're kind of showing you that, yes, this is an access point where you can get signed to a record label if you have what it takes you know, and are a bit lucky. Um, so we're excited to show you guys those bands when time comes. Um, also, one thing that was kind of curious is other labels actually send their A&Rs to our live streams, which is cool. Like, I'm, I'm not complaining because this was kind of started as an opportunity for you guys to get more exposure to other people that are in the video or that are, that are tuning into this, as well as, you know, our A&Rs. But there's also these other labels that have been kind of scooping up some of these bands, which is cool. You know, I'm not going to be jealous about it as a different label. The whole point of this is kind of to give you guys some additional opportunities or, or a doorway to um, kind of getting in with the record label. But that's great. And speaking of that, um, Chris, how's the playlist doing? Good. Um, we should have a winner um, we'll announce uh, beginning of the month. And that's the Artery Unsigned Spotify playlist. Um, if you guys want to submit for the next one, we'll probably post the link here shortly. Um, but uh, yeah, that gives you another opportunity, kind of get on a playlist of other unsigned bands, get more exposure for you guys, kind of get critiques from other people. Um, but once again, thanks for uh, you know tuning in um, to our YouTube, to our Facebook. Uh, we love doing these things, so make sure to tell your, your band, your fans, your friends to tune in next time and keep submitting those links. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Cool. Bye.